Back now to Capitol Hill. As we mentioned, a number of crucial hearings taking place right now. This is inside the Senate Judiciary Committee hearing on Homeland Security. DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas is testifying right now, answering questions from Senator Lindsey Graham. Let's listen in. About a week or two ago, March 15th, the Border Patrol Chief, Mr. Ortiz, I think, said when asked, does DHF, DHS has operational control of our entire border, uh, he said, no, sir. Do we or don't we? Uh, I'd like to be able to answer that question fully. Just a ranking ranking member. Um, take your time, Graham, but not too long, because I don't have much time. <laughs> let, let, let me be clear. Number one, we are intensely focused on securing the border. Number two, we are equally focused on enforcing our laws to achieve that result. Number three, the Border Patrol agents and all the personnel of the Department of Homeland Security are doing heroic work in that regard. With respect to the definition of operational control, I do not use the definition that appears in the Secure Fence Act. And the Secure Fence Act provides statutorily that operational control is defined as preventing all unlawful entries into the United well, States. By that definition, no administration has ever had operational control. So the way I define it is maximizing the resources that we have to deliver the most effective results. And we are indeed doing that. We have, for the first time since 2011, increased the number of Border Patrol agents is that we are working? funded. Is everything you doing working? Is any of it working to stop the poisoning of America or the reduction in a meaningful way of the historic illegal immigration problem? Right now today, do you believe you have a plan that's working? Right. Ranking Ma Member Graham, I must separate the number of individuals arriving at our border who are claiming relief from the issue of fentanyl that is coming through our ports of entry. That is too often conflated. No, I, I agree. I agree. We are fundamentally, fundamentally, we are working within a system that is absolutely broken and there is unanimity. Whose about problem that. is that? Who who broke this system that you're trying to fix? Um, Congress. Hey, was it Trump? Is it Trump's problem? Rank, ranking member Graham. This is our collective problem, you've been, and we well, need to wait, collectively... Wait a minute now. You, you've been DHS secretary, and, and I honest to God do like you. I think you're a very good man. On your watch, Mr. Secretary, we've gone from the lowest illegal crossings in December 2020 to all-time highs with over 2 million last fiscal year. On your watch... Fentanyl is coming in at a pace we've never seen. More Americans are dying. On your watch, more terrorists are coming into the country on the watch list than any time we've been measuring these things. So I'm trying to get some appreciation from you that things are not going well. Your own Border Patrol chief said we don't have operational control of the border, and I don't think it's a definitional problem. I think he's just being really honest with, it, with us. So I would like to work with you where I can. You need more money for interdiction, I will work with Senator Durbin to get it to you. But we play around with the problems. We don't address them. Mayor Adams went to the border from New York. He's not exactly a right-wing guy. He said this is a national crisis, and he said basically it's a disaster.